Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a Cisco router with your home or office internet, step by step. First, let me show you my network topology. This is my ISP internet router, and the internet is working on it. I will connect the LAN port of this ISP router to the fast Ethernet 0 0 port of my Cisco router. Then, we will configure the WAN settings on the Cisco router to set up the internet connection. In the next video, I will add a Cisco switch, connect it to the router, and configure multiple VLANs, NATing, and a DHCP server on the switch to create a LAN network. Now let's go to our Cisco router and do some physical connectivity. This is the backside of my Cisco router, and I will connect the LAN cable from my ISP router to the fast Ethernet 0 0 port. Next, I will connect the console cable to the console port of my Cisco router. Now let's log in and start our configuration. First, I press Enter a couple of times, then type Enable and hit Enter. This puts us in Enable mode on the router. To enter Global Configuration mode, type Config Terminal and press Enter. Now first, let's begin by changing the router's name. By default, it's named Router. To change the router's name, type the command host name, followed by the desired name, like this, Lab Router, and press Enter. As you can see, the router name changes from router to lab router. Now, let's configure the WAN interface on the Cisco router's fast Ethernet 0 0 port, where we've connected our internet cable. For that, I type interface fast Ethernet 0 0 and press enter. Here, we have two options. One, if your ISP provides a static IP, we will assign the static IP to this interface. Two, if your ISP uses DHCP to assign an IP, we can configure the interface to get an IP address via DHCP. In my case, I receive the internet via DHCP, so I will configure the Cisco router to use DHCP on this port. To do this, I type IP address DHCP and press Enter. Then, we need to enable the interface by typing no shutdown and pressing Enter. Now the fast Ethernet 0 0 port of my Cisco router will receive an IP address from the ISP device via DHCP. As you can see, the router has received IP 192.168.1.7. Next, we'll need to configure NATing, network address translation, on the router. To do this, I type IP NAT outside and press Enter. That's it for the WAN configuration. Now let's exit configuration mode by typing exit and exit again. So now we've successfully configured the internet on the Cisco router, step by step. Let's test the connection. First, I will ping my ISP's router gateway to confirm the connectivity with my ISP router. For that, I type ping 192.168.1.1 and press enter. As you can see, the ping is successful. Next, to make sure we have internet connectivity, I try to ping Google's DNS server by typing ping 8.8.8.8 and pressing enter. The ping is also successful, which confirms the internet is working. Let's try pinging a website. Here, I type ping www.bbc.com and press enter. Again, the ping is successful, confirming the internet connection is working on the Cisco router. Finally, it's time to save the configuration. To do this, type the command copy, running config, startup config, and press enter. So, in this video, I've shown you how to configure a Cisco router, step by step. In the next video, I will connect a Cisco switch to this router, configure multiple VLANs, static IP, set up a DHCP pool, and connect the LAN network to the internet. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.